Man, man, man. It's a sad motherfucking time in hip hop right now. All oh, these rappers just doing lame ass shit, corny ass shit, stupid, foolish ass shit. I mean, left and right, man. Every time I turn around and look at Kanye West having emotional problems, he got six flags in his heart because his emotions is just constantly on roller coasters. Then you got Lil Wayne. He's just the most confused, anti-black black black man in America right now. Then you got Lil Yachty. Where do you begin with Lil Yachty? Just lame as a motherfucker. Super lame. Then you got Soldier Boy. Just corny move after corny move. Striving for attention. Shit always blow up in his face. And as I'm thinking about all this shit, you know, I came to the conclusion that the solution for these rappers is getting themselves a pimp friend, you dig? These rappers really need a pimp friend in their life. I mean, think about it, like Kanye West, for instance, right? Kanye, the common denominator, the bottom line for most of his problems is his emotions. You know, the boy just can't keep his emotions in check, right? So the pimping, you know, the pimping got more juggling under his belt than Ringling Brothers when it come to emotions, you dig? He constantly jugging hoes' emotions on a daily basis. All different kind of, you know, crazy hoes, uh, deranged hoes, psychotic hoes, deceitful hoes. You know, all these different emotions and different personalities to deal with in the pimping is constantly juggling, juggling these types of things. So to successfully juggle all this, all these different emotions, you know, you gotta be an emotionally stable individual yourself, you know? So it's a lot that Kanye West can learn from a pimp friend, you dig? He really needs that in his life, you know? Now Lil Wayne, his real issue is them drugs, man. The boy, you know, them drugs just got the boy in the headlock. Now, the pimping is a motherfucker. The pimping could do some cold shit, you know. But pimping can make peanut butter choke up. But one thing pimping can't do is fight against them drugs, you know. Everybody got they, you know, know how to pick and choose their battles in life. And one thing, one thing that the pimp, the pimping ain't gonna battle is them drugs. Pimping just ain't finna battle with drugs. You dig? Lil Yachty, he's another motherfucker. You know, his his issue is just being lame. He's just lame all the way around. Like he's really lame to the core. Like if you dig, if you had a if it was possible to get a, a shovel and just dig all the way into Lil Yachty's soul, when you get to the bottom of his soul, the root of it is gonna be just lameness and just corniness. He's just a lame, corny motherfucker. Now, like I said, the pimping is cold. The pimping can move mountains. You dig? It's all kind of amazing shit the pimping could do. You know, pimping could pimp through brick walls, look through muddy water and spot dry land. But one thing the pimping can't do is de de lameify a lame motherfucker. Once you just like lame to the core, it's just nothing that can be done. It's no hope for you. You dig? Then we got Soldier Boy. Now Soldier Boy, his issue is just he he his his sense of importance. Soldier Boy, he doesn't real really feel important when the intention is not on him. You know, I know it must be kind of difficult when you ain't had a hit record in a while and you used to putting out hit records and you know the uh the hip hop audience, the, the the new audience that's in today, they not really checking for your music like that. So you got, or at least he feels like he got to strive and do all these extra things. He got to get on his WWE shit and become a tough guy, top flight goon, you know what I mean? With all these guns and tough talk and threats and shit like that, you know, in order to uh, 
stay relevant in the hip hop world. Then he always getting busted with fake watches and fake money and just all this different lame shit. And see, like I say, the bottom line of that is that Soldier Boy's sense of value, his self value, his his sense of importance within himself, it doesn't come from Soldier Boy. You know, it comes from what people think of Soldier Boy. You know, if everybody is checking for Soldier Boy, if everybody's attention is on Soldier Boy, then Soldier Boy feel important. But when ain't nobody checking for Soldier Boy, you know, maybe he done walked through the mall a few times lately and, and fans didn't rush him for an autograph like he's accustomed to. Maybe that's, you know, when he starts feeling like he ain't really important no more. Then he start, you know, uh, threatening real street motherfuckers that people know are street motherfuckers and know that Soldier Boy ain't street motherfucker. Or, you know, he'll act like he's spending some type of money that he ain't spending. You know, he just do all this lame shit in order to feel relevant. And like I say, if he had a pimp friend in his life, the pimp, and that's one thing about the pimping. The pimping is going to feel important no matter what his situation is because the pimping has been through ups, downs, and turnarounds all throughout his life. You know, the pimping has been all the way on. The pimping might fall off, you know, because it's all kind of situations that the pimp go through that can knock him off. Then he got to climb his way back to the top. You know, this is something that most pimps that you come across is going to go through throughout their life, you know. So throughout all them types of situations you dig, a pimp is gone, he's going to develop a strong sense of importance from within himself, you know. So it's a lot that somebody like Soldier Boy could learn by having a pimp friend in his life, you dig, you know. If he had a pimp friend in his life, he would learn how to stay relevant and feel important despite what type of attention is going on, you know, and he'll have more respect in the game. You know, because that's Soldier Boy's problem. He's so busy trying to be liked that he's losing sight of being respected at the same time. You know, and ain't nobody gonna respect all them lame ass, false ass, WWE, fake ass moves you did. After a while, people gonna get tired of that shit. And it's gonna just make you look like a fool, and they just gonna be handing you L after L. And you're going to, you know, before you know it, you ain't going to be able to carry all these motherfucking L's. All these L's is going to break your motherfucking back. They're going to be so heavy because there's so many of them to carry at one time. So, you know, Kanye West, Soldier Boy. Man, put a pimp friend in your life, man. You put a pimp friend in your life and believe me, life is just going to be so much better. Kanye West, you're going to learn how to control them emotions a whole lot better, man. You know, it's just going to make life better all the way around. Soldier boy, you're going to learn how to feel important so that you don't have to make all these lame-ass moves to feel like you're relevant, you know what I mean? Lil Wayne, it just ain't no hope for you, man. You know, the pimping really can't do nothing for you in your case, you know. You got to, uh, your best bet is to go to rehab. Uh, Lil Yachty, once again, man, it's nothing that the pimping can do for you, man. You know, it's 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 just no hope for a cat like you, you know what I mean? When you lame to the core, you just lame to the core, and it's nothing that the pimping or anybody else can do about that, man. Go to church. Maybe church can get the lameness up out of you, you know what I mean? Read the Bible. Maybe you'll find a scripture in there that'll help you, you know, de lameify yourself, rebuke the lame spirits up in your soul, you dig? But uh, yeah, man, I just I just wanted to get that off my chest. But you know who I am. Freeze is it. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned. I holla.